don't worry. Oh, Nico, here's a way to check. Yeah. First, you take off. You take off the uh, building plate, so you can we can see the LCD. Now, let's go to the tool. Click tool, and then we have the detection. So now we have three seconds to display the logo onto the LCD, so we can determine it. Let's go. Keep going, and click start. Let's check. Can you see this logo? So if there's a logo, the display is working. If there's no display, no logo, we will go further. And uh, the best way to check, first we need to take off the, take off the, your printer and uh, go to check further. On this side, there's uh, screws. We need to take them off. On the left side of printer, there are four screw. After we take off this four screw, we can see the inside, the LCD cable connection. Okay. After this, we can see uh, this interboard here. And we need to check the connection of this cable. And uh, this one is already locked by a one of the flip. So use your finger, your nail to flip it up so we can take this off. Uh, you can check if this is loose, if it's not loose. Anyway, we, we, I will show you how to do this. Flip this black up so we can get this cable, uh, this rainbow cable off. And it's easy to invert. We re-invert it again. Make sure the blue side is towards you. And we, we lock it. We push it down to lock it. So every pin is uh, attaching the pin of this board. So this can ensure a good connection. Anyway, if this one did not fix, we, we need to uh, fix more. Usually, it's always on this side. Okay, we take this off and we lose the four belt here. One, two, yeah, in, inside, that's an LCD connected to this interboard. Right, okay. The fourth one. All right, here. Can you see? Do not push it too hard. This is an LCD cable to the interboard. And we can use your nail to flip it up. Yes, here. You see all the pain. Sometimes this could be loose here. So we need to reinsert it. We put, put it, push it into the socket. Please handle with care from one side to the other side so it can be uh, attached very well. Now it's only one side attached. So we push it. Can you see all pins are in inside the socket? This we can ensure very good connection. Okay, don't push too hard. And then we reinstall it. And then we put it aside. There's uh, yeah, this uh, you like cable, you push the cable inside here, in, inside the reed stem, and then we lock it. Okay, all right. So it's uh, a critical to lock the first pin, uh, first the screw. So this, don't, don't, 
and let the screw to push the cable to, so it, it can be loose cable and lock the second one. Okay, the third one. The fourth one. Okay, all cable are well here. And we invert it. The blue one towards yourself. And flip the black locker up and invert the blue blue cable and lock it. Push it back, push it back, push it back. So it will, will lock the cable. Yeah, can you see? It's well secure. Then we need to put the side window back and make sure this handle, handle bar is locking like this. This side is up and we lock it. Three millimeter hex wrench to, tear, to tight it. Okay, the second one. Yeah. The third one. You may need to flip it a little bit uh, to move this one a little bit so it can be located in the in exactly middle. Okay, the last bolt. Sorry. Okay. Again. All right. All right. All right. All right. So it's well secured. Let's turn on the, the printer and check again. Okay, go to the tool, detection, and the start. Yeah, we check the logo. If there's logo, lo, no logo, there's issue with connection. If there's logo, everything's fine. Okay, Nico, so you know how to fix the LCD problem. Oh, man, thank you. Okay.